In Michel's hometown of Kranz, Montana in Switzerland, his local baker still uses original roux recipes for his patisserie to this day. Hi, Nicola. Hello, Hi. Michel. How are you doing? I feel like I've seen a member of the family again. Welcome back. How are you? Good well, to see you again. Good. Lovely. Do you know how many years I've been coming to your shop now? It was about five, six years ago. Mm. I came once and uh, always remember you said to me, I think I know you. Yeah, because you were staring at our products, not like a usual consumer, you know, so uh, like in a pro professional way. So you I thought said, that's a bit fishy, who is that? Yeah, guy? yeah, yeah. I have, to, I have to watch out. <laughs> and then immediately you said, I know exactly who you are. And you disappear and you come back with something. Have you got that something with you? It's here, Michel. Yeah, yeah, here. you are. <laughs> it's here, that's a yes. book which I written I mean, many years ago. And, uh, but which you, is still very useful. Thank you. Me. Good. It and you, you learn a few things from it. So, and you use it, so that's most important. I thought that maybe today we're going to put our fingers and our mind in something which I love, and we're going to make some brioche. Have you got time? Very good, that? and you know what? Mm. I have a, big, a very good recipe in this. Are you? Come on, so <laughs> let's I'll go. So I'll come with you and we knocked off the dough. <laughs> All right. Let's do that, good. Michelle's original brioche recipe is still used all over the world and is a staple in Nicolas' bakery. Brioche, that's what it looks like, really, when it's finished, when it's cooked, and the beauty of a brioche is that you don't cut it with a knife. You break it and you look at the fibers and smell it. This is a delightful brioche. Look at that. That is superb with the chocolate mousse. You can dunk it into chocolate. You can have it with a fruit salad. You can have it in the morning. You can have it in the afternoon tea, any time. In Switzerland, we do eat it a lot also with uh, foie gras, for instance. Ah, for foie gras. Yeah. That's perfect. Very kind. Toast Very good. Very then, good. You, yep. then you toast it. We're going to make one big brioche, and it's going to be a recipe made out of my book, which is exactly the same recipe than what you're making here at Patisserie Taillance. Yes, exactly. Which is fantastic. So, but we are two experts, so you're going to give me a hand, we're going to work together as a I'll, team. I will try to, as do, a team. to do my best. So, if you break the eggs, we need the flour, plain flour, 500 grams, and it's going right into the little mixer. And then we need six eggs, so, with the flour. So now we dissolve uh, six milliliters of warm milk, 15 grams of salt, and 15 grams of yeast. All done. So that goes in there, and here we are. And here we start. I've got 350 grams of butter, exactly the same quantity of butter again, the same recipe. And I've got 30 grams of sugar, caster sugar. And that's what will be added in a few minutes time. Now, you see the dough is ready now. It's starting to get to become elastic. Now I'm going to stop it for a minute and obviously clear out of the bowl. I think we ought to have a, a little look at the dough and the texture. Look at that. It's starting obviously to be elastic. That is perfect. Clean the bowl with a little maris, a little spatula. Here you are. But I always like when people make their own brioche or bread or whatever at home so they can see how difficult it is actually. That is absolutely yeah, not right. like a, yes. um, it's like cooking, it's like anything. Exactly. And people when they go out realize that they give more obviously pleasure and realize that the skill you need to do it. So Yes, it's, and it's a compliment for us. Good, well. exactly, yes. good for our jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm writing books from time <laughs> to time. <laughs> so, small pieces at a time. Pretty lucky today because you have uh, Swiss butter from the cows just nearby, so... Yeah, much better than the French butter. Yeah, if you put the sugar, just gently around, that's it. And then I carry and put in the butter. Perfect. That's it. And then we do the corning again. A good brioche should take about, with a small machine, about 10 minutes to make. And that'll be ready in a few minutes' time now. And then we're going to let it rise. Eh? Look at that, it's coming nicely. So let's have a look. Okay, so now we're taking it out of the bowl. That's it. And we're looking at the, the texture. Yeah, the texture is very good. Yes. And you can smell the butter. Yeah. So here we are. Here is the dough. So that will be enough for one big brioche. Now it goes in the warm place, about 20, 22 degrees. We're going to cover it with a, with a little cloth. Mm -hmm. And then in two hours' time, it's risen. Knock it down in the cold room. 
and then magic, magic, we're going to get one from the call room because we've got <laughs> one which we've just done before. This is called mise en place. Mise en place. Right. The door is ready. I Good. think we can be proud of us. We can be yeah. proud of us. Good. So we've got it now at the stage of logically, if I'm correct, we've got two thirds for the body, one third for the head. Correct. We're going to make two nice big brioche, roughly one third, two third. Here you are. And one third, two third. So. What we do, we just make a nice little run. For so, so far, so good. Here we are. So the body goes in the brioche moule, which have been buttered. Here we are. And then the two fingers, I don't know if you do the same. So now I'm doing the head. And then take it out. Obviously doing a little oblong like that, almost like rolling it, almost like an egg shape, and then I'm um, pushing it in there with the finger. Here we are. So I have to admit the Swiss way is not that different, so we did not invent anything, so. So now we've got the brioche. Brioche ready, steady go. All right, and then okay. my way of doing All it. Oh, your turn. Here, show me. Oh, well, it's quicker. You do it like, like this? Oh, yes. well, well, well. That's a lazy way. <laughs> no, it's not a lazy way. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's the way to do when we have to make like 50 or 100 pieces, of them. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I forgot that. I forgot that. Yeah, good. Okay, I've said nothing up to now because I'm your guest. <laughs> <laughs> You're very polite. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well, Quite similar, I've no? got Swiss way. So egg wash, obviously, your principle, you've got the only egg yolk or you put the whole egg yourself, egg wash? We put uh, all the egg and yeah. we put some honey, honey, honey and some salt as well. Oh dear, honey, honey. When you egg wash, I'm sure you do the same, you've got to be careful that the egg wash doesn't run between the body there and the mould because it will run and it will act like a glue. Mm. It's stuck. And it's better to egg wash lightly once and then once more before you put it in the oven. Is That's that the way do? we do, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got some similarities, yeah, haven't we? We're going to put that in a warm place, yes. let it rise for an hour and a half, roughly. It's going to double, practically, mm -hmm. and then, blank, blank, we're going to use the scissors. scissors. No mercy before it goes in the oven. Oh. <laughs> Good, lovely, let's do that. Are those one come ready? From, those one come from your batch, yes. the well reason. You left them about uh, an hour and a half. Correct, yes. 25 degrees, something like We've got to have a sharp scissors, mm -hmm. eh? and then we cut deep. We're getting each time you've got to dip it into the water and cut it deep, because as deep as you can go, and better and more, the brioche will rise. So they're ready to go to the oven. What temperature do you cook your brioche? 180. Yeah, 180 degrees. Yeah, 180, 190, and it will take about what? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Well, we bang on, aren't we? Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, you've got the lovely pelle, pelle tarte. Yeah, so here we put the brioche and uh, we put them in the oven. That's it. Oh Watch out, Michel, it's hot. Yeah. Very hot. Piping hot. Uh, let's unmould one. I'll do that. You have to be careful not to burn yourself when you do that. You must not press it because you squash it. So you unmould it very quickly. And you put it there, and that's it. Allow it to get cool for about 20 minutes. Yes, sure. If you've got the patience. If you haven't. But with well, this smell, <laughs> we, w we want to try it now. Yes, right? well, we'll wait for a little bit. <laughs> okay. And we've got to be good. Good. So that's the brioche. Our recipe works. Well done. Good.